Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks uh, Ben and Georgie and, um, uh, and the Food Leaders Group for uh, inviting us along. Um, I just wanted to start off by, uh, uh, by saying, uh, yeah, I was told to start with a problem, and uh, I can just see it, it's just echoing the whole time that we're up here, and it's what's the financial impact on the individual farmer of this ag tech and, and any initiative, really, that, that, uh, that comes along and, and is presented to a farmer. In many cases, the farmers don't have that um, financial understanding of their own business and what the decisions are that they, uh, they're making from day to day and the impact that they, uh, they have on their holistic business. So, uh, so starting with the problem, uh, what I did was um, uh, I went through three, years, uh, three bouts of succession, um, had a lot of uh, subjective discussions with our family business, and then I fi finally took it over and started to really bring in the, uh, the business. In the first, uh, uh, in the first uh, three weeks of taking it over, I saved our business by reviewing three costs, $40,000 per annum, which um, extrapolated over 20 years is quite a substantial amount. And I just thought, well, how many other uh, businesses uh, in rural Australia are uh, faced with this? So what I decided to do was uh, hold a summit and build, a, uh, build the financial modelling for an individual uh, business affected by drought. And that, uh, that business was uh, formed by Australian Farm Institute with Mick Keogh, uh, ordered by local accountants and, and also Bentley's Accounting. Uh, and we decided to have a CEO summit and pull apart the issues of that individual farm. And uh, the main issue that came up uh, when we had the summit uh, was, uh, was uh, actual financial sophistication for a farmer and how, that's report and how that reporting's done. So if you... If you have a look at $40,000 just on our farm situation and extrapolate that across 130,000 farmers um, in Australia, there's a huge opportunity for, uh, for savings. So, uh, so you, you, you're up in the billions uh, quite quickly. So we've developed a, a fintech solution to actually give ownership back to the farmer of their financial situation and any, and any uh, I suppose, um, initiative or ag tech solution they've got, they can actually run it through and see the impact of their business. Not only that, we're starting with um, showing them their business, taking back, I suppose, all the layers to show them the actual fundamentals of, of how it works. Um, so, sorry, I forgot the slides, but anyway, I'll get into that. So we started AgriHive, and what, what, our, what we sort of start with is, um, is to, uh, I suppose, really identify the problem and then uh, uh, really sort of reverse engineer that problem and create all the, all the strategies to solve it. So, uh, so we start with a, a quote from uh, Charles Munger of Buffett's company that often quotes, invert, always invert, uh, and you'll find the solution to complex problems. Sorry, it jumps. Uh, yeah, so these are, these are the summits that I had. So it wasn't just me dealing with the situation. It was actually looking at all the, uh, all, all the, all the problems. And, and our first summit attracted a lot of interest and uh, subsequently held one in the UK at Westminster for the dairy industry and one recently for capital in, in Australia. So this is what we've developed. This is a solution. It's an online uh, solution that drags and drops all the financial elements of the business uh, and also their personal life. So it couples production, weather and uh, finance all, all in one location, generating a, a report that is, is, is uh, quite well understood by the individual stakeholders in the business. So we deal in, instead of numbers in uh, graphics and infographics and imagery to actually show the performance of the, of the business. So, uh, so that's, uh, that's, that's how we're transforming the financial understanding of the business. Uh, the third element to it, so there's two elements, uh, there's three elements, sorry. There's a data collection, which is all intuitive drag and drop. So we're streamlining how we actually capture the data. Um, and in that session before, we actually launched last week and we had um, uh, one person sign up at the start of the session and had completed our, uh, our game uh, uh, by the end of the session. So we got that completion report. When we launched last week, we launched um, uh, nationally uh, with, uh, with our partners, MLA, Cattle Council of Australia and uh, the Department of Ag. And, uh, and we've got 114 users so far, and uh, it's taken them between 40 and 50 minutes to complete, based on our, um, not only the 114 we've got, but based on the, uh, on the, uh, on the um, uh, sorry, on the tests and pilots we've done over the last 18 months. So just to go through quickly, the uh, opportunity in the beef industry alone is about sort of uh, uh, 30,000 uh, uh, beef producers, uh, sorry, 72,000 beef producers. Our program can be scalable across um, uh, industries and across um, and, and across uh, nations, 
uh, based on the source code that we're using. Our sister company's got 1.8 million users in, in the metro space, and uh, yeah, and we're, uh, we're growing quickly. So we just cracked our first $40,000 in, in uh, less than a week. And uh, yeah, and these are the sort of targets that we're, that we're looking for. We're a subscription model, and uh, we've got a great team. Our, our lead coder won PhD for programming for Australia and Australasia uh, in 2013, and he's part of our, part of our offering. So, uh, so we've got um, a good team there and a good panel of uh, support. This is our development targets. So you can see here, this is where we're looking to go forward. Uh, we're just continually improving customer benefits and propositions and improving functionality. Um, we've got a capital raising uh, point now. We initially raised uh, $600,000, uh, I think it's about two years ago with, with partners. And um, uh, these are our milestones. So we've got a sheep and wool uh, version coming out soon that we're just scoping for. And um, we've developed an algorithm to benchmark globally uh, agriculture through, uh, through some of our supporters. So, uh, so yeah, so there's a bit of a snapshot. So mainly our focus is now is sponsors, partners and reach. So at, at lending to Sam's uh, point about distribution, we've got some good uh, sponsors and partners that are helping us. And these are, and of course, thanks so much to uh, Cattle Council Australia, meet, um, MLA Donor Company for supporting us and the Australian Government. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Thanks for that, James. And I uh, will hand it over to the panel. And yeah, this was all developed from Longreach, is that right? Yeah. 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 Okay, over to the panel. Thanks very much. Um, like the pitch, but I had a little trouble following, possibly because you didn't start the slides when you intended to, yeah, I suspect. Sorry, sorry. Um, but equally, the, pro the product you're talking about is a, is a complex one and it's a virtual one. So um, the more you can make it concrete for me or for us, the better. Um, by the time I got to the end, I had it, but it took me too long to get it. Um, one of the questions I had was really just curiosity one around gamification. The, um, you mentioned it in the thing, and I could see what you were talking about up there. How's that gone? Uh, uh, in terms, sorry. Uh, um, how popular or unpopular is it with real users? Uh, the user experience is one of the uh, best things. So we had a radio interview last week with Ben Dobbin, and um, off air he said, "This is expletive ridiculous. How easy this is, and how it transforms, um, you know, understanding of financial situations quite quickly." And that's uh, yeah, that's been a lot of the we're tr we're doing testing this week um, in Brisbane with different users, and that's their that's their main main thing. But it's a real communication piece in that. Um, it, uh, instead of having subjective conversations about the business, you're actually objectively viewing it, so, uh, so in terms of succession, but also attracting capital and finance. Once, uh, once they complete their report, they've pretty much got a prospectus on their business for investment to go to the banks or accountants or just to have those strategic discussions. So, uh, yeah, so that, that's how, yeah, that's how that's worked. Just quickly, it. speaking of your banks and accountants, how um, interactive can the data be with them? Yeah, so, uh, so yeah, very interactive. So it's very high, high level to begin with because we just want our, our, our primary motive was to make this easy. So 20 minutes, 20 inputs, and you get an output. And then what you do is you go in further and you can validate it with your account or you can just use it and use your own figures. Thanks, James. It's um, really, really quite, quite interesting. Um, I'm from the, the grain sector, so one question is... Um, are you looking at uh, venturing into that sector? And my other question is, it occurred to me today that the success of Vanderfields is because um, they sell things with wheels, and farmers love things that move and with wheels, so again, the success of drones. How do we, um, and perhaps you've done it in this, but, but how do we uh, act, um, get traction in a market when they like stuff with wheels and not necessarily uh, data? Yeah so, um, yeah, so some of the psychology we've, we've applied to it is, um, yeah, is all about that. So, um, you know, if they make a $40,000 saving a year, they can buy that tractor that they're aiming for in two years' time or, you know, so, so that's the, you know, that's some of the thinking and some of the things we've got coded in there. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's uh, yeah, so we, we looked at that because operationally farming is very, you know, is, uh, you know, the focus is the practical side. So we want to support them do that and, and place the investment in them earlier to be able to do that, uh, to keep up their, um, yeah, to keep up their performance. I'd love to, I'd love to talk to you about that. Oh, look, uh, yeah, I, I, I really liked it. I think the gamification idea is a great one. We've been thinking about this a lot. I think uh, particularly in terms of where, if where you want to scale these things and you're reliant on manual input, 
uh, and that's always a, a real challenge uh, in incentivising people to do that. So gamification is probably a good way to go. It sounds like you're having a good experience of that. Uh, so uh, great. Um, my question was more about um, sort of, again, integration with uh, other accounting software. Um, are, are these real challenges for you? Where no, we've, 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 we've got that in mind. So, um, so our coding's all set up for it. It's just a, uh, just a matter of doing it. But I want to take people through a journey. So we want them to own the data they put in first because um, often, more than not, you know, you go into your accountant as a farmer and you say, so to make money or lose money, they say, well, you lost money but you improve your net wealth. And they're, so they're, you know, it's all taxation orientated. So, uh, so yeah, so we, we want them to own the data, uh, be comfortable with it and then, and then look at merging. Uh, but, but yeah, we're ready to go um, and it's just, a, yeah, it's just a matter of doing that. In terms of the gamification stuff, um, yeah, this is the first MV, you know, first prototype of what we've created. And um, yeah, and we've got vision and talking to um, you know partners in in sort of developing further. And we've got designs and everything ready to go. So, so thanks. Yeah. Um, my questions have largely already been uh, asked. With the good one was on the, the farm software, like Figured and, and Zero, how that integrates. And you, you've part answered that. Uh, an unsurprising one for me, and you kind of touched on it, but I'd just like to hear a little bit more about that distribution. Totally, I know obviously about uh, about CCA and, and MLA or MDC, and obviously can give you access to some of their levy payers and, and early adopters. But but mass take up and, and and a mass channel to as many farmers as possible. What's the the plans there? Yeah, so in discussions with a few, uh, you know, a few companies that you probably highlighted before in some of the uh, distribution, uh, which is, which is great. Uh, but but also it's it's a matter of uh, making sure that you're offering value to them as well, just not using them for distribution. So, uh, so yeah, so our modelling sort of encapsulates that. So you know we've got opportunities to partner with them for reach, but but also giving them um, value through through the through the system. Ultimately, um, you know. Uh, uh, once, once you've got a sophisticated farmer, the strategy, uh, the discussion becomes strategic and you can start, you know, sort of um, leveraging their performance greater. So that's, um, yeah, so that's, that's a bit of the, um, yeah, a bit of the insight that what we're doing anyway. Cool. And just one last comment and just a, a bit of a pat on the back and congratulations. Just, uh, I've known James for a few years and his ability to implement is, is just awesome. Like great traction with the Kidworth case study, pulling lots of different stakeholders together and, and getting stuff done and, and taking stuff to market is, is awesome and it's starting to come through here, which I reckon is brilliant. So all the best, mate. Thanks, Sam. Thanks. We've been underground for a long time building it, so it's, uh, it's good to be at this side anyway. Yeah, thanks. Put your hands together for James. Congratulations, James.